Hey guys, looking all you're back at again with another video. My bad for not posting in a while. I have been really busy, but today I'll be showing you how to get free games on the Steam Deck. In order to do this, you would need to have the game files already downloaded on your computer. I can't show you how to do this on YouTube, but if you want the link where you can get your free games from and want a video showing how to download those games, those will be in my Discord server. I can't post those on YouTube because it would get taken down and I would get a channel strike, which I'm not trying to do. So if you want that, go on my Discord server and go on the channel that says free games for the Steam Deck and that's where that stuff would be. After you do that, then you would probably want to click back on this video because now I'll show you how to install them. In order to do that, what you would need is a way to get those files onto your Steam Deck. So for me, this is one of the methods. You can get an adapter, that's USB-C, and you can get a USB right here. And you can just plug it in like this and put it into the charge port on your Steam Deck. Keep in mind, this is gonna be more trickier because typing on the Steam Deck kind of sucks. Using a mouse kind of sucks on the Steam Deck, which you would need to use that because you're gonna go into desktop mode. So my alternative method over here is to get a mouse, to get a keyboard, which I have right here, and to get the dock to plug it all into. So for me, I have everything plugged into this dock. I have my USB for my mouse. I have the hard drive over here because I'm gonna be installing my games through a hard drive where I have every game I want here. I have over here the USB for my keyboard, which I'll be using over here. So for me, that's how I would do it. Once again, this works the same. These methods are exactly the same. Nothing's gonna change. Only difference is you just have better access and it's just much easier to transfer the files and add stuff too. So in order to do that, you would wanna connect your device, whatever you're doing, to the storage right here. So you wanna plug into the USB-C and then you'll probably get a message over here saying slow charger. Once you get that message, and this message only shows if you are using the dock because your dock is also supplying power to the other electronics you have connected to it. Once you see that, you wanna press okay. Then you wanna press the steam button or the back button twice and you wanna go into power. When you're in power, you wanna to go to switch to desktop. Once you're here, it takes a second to switch here. So we would give it a minute to do so. And once you're here, if it shows anything, like an update or something, you just wanted to update first before proceeding. Now, let me connect my USB for the mouse. Yeah. And as you can see, it's connected. Now over here, you're gonna see your drive over here. Primary is the SD card, if you have an SD card like me, or just your drive in general. And over here, you're gonna see Drive 4 Toshiba, or your external drive. You wanna open Drive 4 Toshiba, or your external drive. We're gonna double click it and over here we have all our files now we would want to go into the folder we created and all that stuff once again is in the video in the discord server so over here we have that folder and in here we have all the games that we want over here so we'll be installing my fan pedro so we're gonna put this folder to the side right here next we're gonna friend Pedro as you can see it's right here and this we're just gonna keep this open over here now this is your banners this is your cover art your logos all that stuff you're gonna need for the cover art. once again this step is completely optional so we're gonna just close this for now since the game has already been copied over right here as you can see we're just gonna close this right here and we're gonna close this right here 
Next, you want to open up Steam and give that a second and my update. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. So over here, you want to look for add game. But before you do, you want to know where the location your games are installed to. So for example, I want to open up one game over here where I drag and drop and I'll show you the file location. So we're going to go on to properties. And as you can see, it's under run media MMC big 0p1. So we're just going to look at this and now we know where to find it. So we're going to close this. We're going to go into add game over here and we're going to press add a non steam game. Once you're over here, you want to go and browse and you want to go into share application and we want to look for run media mmc big so as you can see this is where the games would be as you can see there is the folder we're looking for that says games we're going to open that and we're going to open my friend pedro the folder and then you want to see right here with this file type you want to click this and then you want to go on all files now you'll see a lot more files showing so over here you want to look for the exe file so let me zoom in better so you can see this more closely and once you're over here you're going to scroll down to find the exe file so we're going to see the exe over here and as you can see it says my friend pedro blood and bullets dot exe the exe file is the launcher you want to press open and then you want to press add selected programs once it's over here you'll get this thing right here my friend pedro or the game you installed you want to go on properties and now what you want to do is go into compatibility if you do not have this checked your game will not work so you want to check this and then that's it for this over here your game's done installing and that's all you really have to do but now if you want to have your cover art like i want to you see over here that it's all bland it doesn't look that good and that's not how i like it so we're going to just minimize this right now we're going to go onto chrome and now over here we're going to look for the banner we want so we're going to go here as you can see this is a good banner so we're going to go back we're going to press the download button right here it's going to open up then we are going to look for the whole like entire like wallpaper for this we're going to press this over here then you want to look for the logo of the game so then we're going to press this one and then you want to look for the icon and the icon we're going to use is going to be this one right here that's too small let's see this one and this is a good icon right here as you can see you're going to have these four files right here one two and three now if one doesn't load then we're going to go back up and the one that didn't load was this banner so we're going to press this but personally, I like this one, so we're gonna go over here and choose this banner. And this is all the files you would need. So we're gonna right click this, we're gonna save image as, and we're gonna type this as wallpaper. Then for this one, we're gonna type it save image as. We're gonna type, for me, I'm just doing Pedro logo. Over here, we're gonna do save image, and we're gonna do Pedro icon. And for the banner, we can do save image as, and then Pedro banner. And now you have all your files right here. We're gonna minimize this, and we're gonna open up Steam. It's gonna take a second. And now we're back over here. So now to change this, we're gonna right click this, and we're gonna go and set custom logo. Then we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go into home deck, and we're gonna scroll down to we see downloads. And then we're gonna look for Pedro logo. We're gonna open that. As you can see, we got the logo over here. We're gonna right click this and we're gonna press set custom background. We're gonna press downloads since we're already here. We're gonna go on Pedro wallpaper. We're gonna open that and now we have the wallpaper over here. Now we're gonna right click the actual thing right here and we're gonna go into properties. And we're gonna press this. And then we're gonna go onto run deck media and we're gonna scroll down to home deck. Once you're over here, we're gonna go on to, we're not on home deck, so we're gonna go home deck. Where did it go? Home deck. Once you're over here, we're gonna go into downloads once again, and then we're gonna choose, where is it, icon. So we're gonna press icon, open, and now we got the icon for this. Now the banner is a little different, so we're gonna press new, we're gonna do properties, manage, and we're gonna go to add to and we're just gonna add this to one of the files for example we'll just add this to 
emulation room. Over here, we're gonna look for emulation. Over here, and as you can see, these are your banners, but over here, this is how the Pedro one looks, and it does not look that good. We're gonna go on to manage. We're gonna do set custom artwork. We're gonna press this, and then we're gonna look for Pedro banner. And we're gonna press open, and there we go. Now we're gonna go manage, add to, and we're gonna see if we can remove it. So let's see. If you can't remove it from here, well, you can actually. So you're gonna go remove from, and we're gonna click emulation, and it's gone. What you wanna do is you wanna just click on something else, and then you wanna look till you see my friend Pedro, or your game that you installed. So let's look for it, and make sure that it worked. As you can see, I can see it, so it has worked. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna close this, and we're gonna go to return to gaming mode, and this takes a second to load back into the actual OS. So we're gonna wait for this to load up. And over here, now it's safe to unplug this. So we're gonna unplug this, and we can put this away. Now your device is unplugged, so that game is installed. So we're gonna wait, it's gonna say verifying installation. And you just want this to load, it takes a second. And as you can see, now we are back into the OS. Once you're here, you wanna go into library, and you wanna go into non-Steam. So now we're gonna look for my game right here. So, let's see if we can find it. My friend Pedro. Here's the game. As you can see, the icon looks good. Everything loaded up, and we can press play, and the game should work. So we're going to give this a second. It might take a minute to load up at first because you just installed it, but if it's a small game, it shouldn't take too long. This game is under less than a gigabyte, so it didn't take that long. And as you can see, it's working. Now, for these type of games, they might not have the controller support already set, or they might do. So we'll see if this one has the controller support. But these controllers over here, the built-in ones, will work for sure. As you can see, this works, and this one works too. So, there we go. That's how you install free games on your Steam Deck. Once again, the files will be on my Discord server, and I'll make a video showing you how to install them, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Just like and subscribe, it'll help a lot. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers soon so I can do more content for you guys. Alright, that's it.